Hey, what's up? It's Brianna. So today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video and that is a Shop Miss A try on haul, which I am so excited for because honestly, I really like Shop Miss A. Like their lashes as well as their Paw Paw Wonder Blender are some of my holy grails in my collection. Like seriously, so good stuff. And today we're going to be trying like a face primer, a foundation, of course lashes, as well as an eyeshadow palette. Like we've got some really cool stuff to try out today. And if you're not familiar with Shop Miss A, they are an online $1 makeup and beauty store. So they have like makeup, they have skincare, they have like hair accessories, like they have a bunch of really cool stuff on their website. And I do want to say though that this video is sponsored by Shop Miss A, and again, thank you so much for sponsoring me. Like I just genuinely think that they are a really truly sweet brand. Like everybody I have ever talked to has always been so nice and awesome. And also they have just really great quality products, so I can't wait to see how all these things work. So on camera, I did prime my eyes, but I do want to try out the Color My World eyeshadow palette. Now this isn't a dollar, I think it was like $10 or so. But like when I saw it, I just needed to dry it. And that is because, I mean, just look at how bright and fun that is. Granted, like any rainbow palette, I, I just need to try it. But again, like the packaging is so nice and like the pan sizes, they're like massive. But the first shade I wanna go in with is this pale purple shade right here. So I'm just gonna be taking this on a small little blending brush. Ooh, for a pastel, like right away. It's blending out really nice, like it doesn't have like that dusty kind of vibe to it either. So the next shade I want to go in with is this kind of like teal blue shade. And again, this one is completely matte as well. I'm just going to be, ooh, that's really pigmented. But I'm just gonna be popping it on the outer half of my eye and then blending it upwards towards my brow. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Yeah, this one's a little bit more on the buildable side. Like initially when you pop it down, it is like really, really intense. But I'd say you need about two layers to get this one to look like it does in the pan. Again, I am smoking it out fairly far as well. And I'm also just taking whatever's left on my brush and kind of like overlapping it with that purple that we popped down. So I do want to smoke up the outer beat just a little bit more because you guys know I like a lot of definition with my looks. So I'm just going to go in with this really dark blue in the palette. And I'm just going to be taking it on this teeny tiny little blending brush. And again, I'm just going to be popping it right in that crease in the outer V and then blending it upwards. Into the blue that we just applied. I'm also not putting it into the purple at all. I'm only applying it where the blue is. I mean, like, the first layer is really cute, but I want to see what a second layer looks like. Yeah, this one's a little bit more on the build a side, too. But you can see for a darker blue, like, it's not giving me any harsh lines or, like, chunkiness. It's blending out super smooth. As you can see, like, it's not acting funny at all. But I am going to take that brush that we applied that lighter blue with, no additional, and just kind of kiss the edge. Just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Now I'm just packing that really dark blue onto my lid in this kind of like outer third half situation. And I will say if you're a beginner, you might struggle a little bit with it. Because you can kind of see it's not like the most even. So with this palette, the shimmers are these two bottom rows right here. And I kind of want to go in with this kind of like tealy color. And I'm just going to be taking it on a little shader brush. And I'm not going to dampen it first. I'm going to apply it dry. I'm just going to first pop that in the center of my eye, kind of on top of that blue that we applied because I'm just, ooh, that's really cute. It's more of like a satin. It's not like super crazy sparkly. But again, it's really pigmented. But you can see it's kind of like a subtle sheen. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. It definitely gives me like wearable shimmer kind of vibes. So if you like a more subtle shimmer, you're probably gonna really like this one. So for the rest of the lid, I wanna do something different. So we're gonna go in with this AOA Studio Halo Highlighter in the shade Amore, and it's like an icy, like baby pink kind of shade. And I'm just gonna be taking it on a different little flat shader brush. Ooh, that is pretty. Like dang, that, that's gonna be a poppin' highlight. I know, I just wanted a little bit more contrast with this look. And I don't know, I just wanted like to play up that purple that we have going on. So I thought this baby pink would kind of give us the vibe that we're going for. I am bringing it in fairly far as well. And I'm slightly overlapping it with that blue. 
Wow, that is so pretty though. Like I cannot wait to see how this one looks on the face because if it's already this blinding dry, I can only imagine how it's gonna look on the skin. You know I had to get a bunch of lashes because honestly, this is one of my favorite products from Shop and Say. Like I am so obsessed with these, it's not even funny. But why I like these is not only are they like that 3D full mink, really glam kind of vibe, but also like if I take really good care of these, I can get 20 if not 30 uses out of them, which I mean is just amazing. And also like the band is super comfy. But I just wanna show you guys the styles that I got. So these pink ones right here, this is my ride or die favorite lash and this is the 3d faux mink aoa studio premium natural lashes in the style jean and i mean just look at how gorgeous and fluffy that is like this lash goes with any kind of look whether that is glam natural literally everything and it's just so fluttery and like whimsical like oh like it is so good so these lashes are actually part of the paw pod charity line so that means that part of the proceeds goes to help animals against abuse which i think is really cool so you can see that they're slightly over a dollar because of that but again like these are a steal of a deal like i've gone through so many pairs of these because i'm so obsessed with them i also got two pairs in the green packaging and these ones right here are the aoa studio a plus glam 3d premium foaming lashes and these ones right here are in the style london and you can see like these ones are very spiky and long, but you can see like they have a little bit of separation between the spikes. I personally like using these when I'm doing more like a natural kind of like makeup looks and really like soft pastel whimsical fairy kind of eye makeup just because you can really see that lid detail with these. These are also charity edition lashes, so part of the proceeds supports children's education, which again, I think it's just really cool that they do that. And then the other pair that I got is Paris, and again, these ones are very spiky and have a lot of legs to them. This is definitely more of like a glam lash. But again, these are so fun, like I'm obsessed. And also these are charity edition as well. So you can kind of see like the price right here is a little bit higher because of it. I'm a sucker, so I'm just gonna go in with my favorite ones because I haven't used this in a hot minute. But like, if you haven't tried Shop Miss A lashes, like I cannot recommend them enough. Like they are so bomb. Like, I mean, just look at how pretty these are. Like, oh. Like, I, every time I see these lashes, I'm like, girl, put them on my eyes. So I'm just gonna take the lash and apply it with my fingers. And I first like to pop them right in the center, pop on the inner corner, and then the outer corner. If you're like me and you like really dramatic lashes, I can't recommend these enough. Like they are so pretty. Like they don't have a crazy amount of length to them either, so that's why I say that they can go with any kind of look. Like if I don't know what kind of lash I want to wear with a look, or if I'm kind of like apprehensive if I want like a really long one or really spiky, I just pop these babies on. Now let's start applying the face products and I did pick up a face primer and I'm really curious to see how this one works. It is the AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. And I'm curious to see if this one's going to have like a gripping effect to it or if it's going to be more like a gel moisturizer. Ooh, I like that consistency. Like it's not like super thick and it's not like watery either. It's like right in the middle. Yeah, this kind of feels like a, I'd say more like a gel moisturizer. It's very light though. And also it's not like super watery either when applied. I personally have like normal balanced kind of skin, but I do tend to use hydrating primers. I think that they just work better for my skin, especially in the morning when I tend to apply my makeup. It's like instantly sunk into my skin, but I will say it's not gripping. Like it's not like sticky or tacky. It just feels like a lightweight gel moisturizer. So I did also pick up a foundation and this is the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. It has full coverage. And the shade that I got is Porcelain. I will say it looks small, but it actually has a full ounce of product in it. And I did see Taylor Wynn talk about this here on YouTube and I love her videos. And it looked amazing on her. So I'm really curious to see how it looks when applied. And packaging wise, it kind of has like a little bit of like a dropper kind of situation. But let's see what it looks like when I'm... Ooh, it's kind of thick. And then this is the shade. Now I'm as pasty as printer paper, so I just guessed with this shade and kind of went off of her video. And I'm just going to be using the Paw Paw Wonder Blender to apply this. This is one of my favorite sponges. Again, if you haven't tried their sponges, you need to. But dang! That's a lot of coverage. Like, I barely dipped into it. Ooh, that is applying nice. 
And honestly, like this shade match is really good for me too. Like I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a neutral or like super yellow or super pink. It is like a perfect match. Like a little goes a long way with this one. Like I actually applied almost too much to my hand, I think. We'll see here in a second. Maybe I'll use the full thing, but Oh, like, I'm really impressed with that coverage because, again, yeah, like, this foundation is really, really affordable. So I just have the foundation right here, and then the rest of my face is just completely bare with that primer on. And, I mean, just look at that coverage it gave me. So now let's apply to the other side of my face. And I will say, like, finish-wise, to me, it looks like a natural finish. Leaning matte. Like, there's definitely no, like, sheen to it at all. And I would also say that I probably wouldn't recommend this one if you're dry, even with the hydrating primer. Like to me, this one I would recommend if you have normal to like an oilier skin type, because you can see how it is. It's just very mattifying. Okay, I was wrong. I actually needed to go in with a little bit more on my hand, but still like a little goes a long way with this. Like, I'm used to, when using, like, a normal foundation, going in with, like, a full pump to, like, a pump and a half, because I got a big face. But with this one, I've used probably about half the amount I would normally use, and it's giving me an insane amount of coverage. Like, I don't feel like I have to, like, build this up in any spot. Like, honestly, like, this is as good as some of my high-end foundations. Like, if this wears really well, this might become a new favorite of mine. So I did apply my cream bronzer and concealer off camera, but to set everything, I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder, and the shade I have is Matte Translucent. I took off the little, like, sifter cover thing, that little sticker off camera, but I haven't looked at the powder yet. Ooh, that looks really finely milled. But I'm just going to be taking it using that uh, Wonder Blender that we used earlier. Oh yeah, this looks like really fine. I guess let's see what happens. Dang, like that's like melting in. Oh yeah, that is like definitely translucent. Sometimes translucent powders that look white like this, they don't apply, you know, translucent. They look just really like white on the skin. But this one is like truly actually um, translucent. I mean, look at how nice that's looking. And it's not a heavy powder by no means either. Like, it's very, very light. Like, I don't even feel it. Even when applying it with a dampened sponge. Because sometimes when you apply a powder with a dampened sponge, you can kind of, like, feel it. But this one, I don't feel it at all. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. Let's do the other eye. I'm also going to make sure I do my smile ends because I crease so bad there. It's like, a big problem area for me. Now, I did pick up a lot of lip products because they just had really pretty shades on their website, but the first thing I want to go in with is this liquid lipstick. This is the, again, AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick, and this one's in the shade Unreal, and it just looks like a really pretty, kind of like fall kind of vibe shade. Oh, that doesn't have like a scent to it. It just kind of has like a makeup scent, but it's very, very light. But let's see how this applies. Okay, pigment. Ooh, that is pretty. Keep in mind, I do have a rash on my lips, so it's looking a little textured. I cannot help it. But dang, like that pigment is nice. Like it is not patchy, and a lot of times, like these kinds of shades can get really patchy. So they recently launched some satin lipsticks, and I don't know, I had to pick up a couple because I just thought the packaging was really cute. But I do want to do some swatches because I'm not sure which one I want to go in with and which one would pair the best with this lipstick. But the first one we have is Fling. Ooh, that is really pretty. And smell-wise, it has a scent to it, and it's a little bit on the sweet side, but it's not, like, overpowering. It kind of smells like candy. But let's see how it swatches. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. To me, it's kind of like an orangey, nudie kind of shade. The next one we have is, like, this pinky kind of shade, and this one's called Make Out. Ooh, it's kind of like a mauve-looking one. Ooh, that is really pink. It's like a wearable pink, too, and it almost kind of has like that strawberry kind of vibe to it. And again, like these are really pigmented. But the next one we have is in the shade Flirt. 
I'd say out of the three so far, that one's my favorite. And then the last one that I have is in the shade Charm. That's really pink too. And then this is what they look like up close. And as you can see, they are hydrating, but they're not like super slippery for lipstick. Definitely like a true satin formula. But I'm going to go in with a flirt because I feel like that's going to match this lipstick the best. And the overall like look that we have on. I'm just going to pop it right in the center. Ooh, this is a really pretty combo. Also, like this lipstick is really like hydrating. But it's not like super like slippery feeling. Wow, like those two together are really nice. So let's start finishing up the eye. I'm gonna do the lower lash line first. I'm just gonna take that dark blue on this little shader brush. And then I'm just gonna take that brighter blue and smoke out the edge. And then for the rest, I'm just gonna go in with that peel purple. And again, I am overlapping it with the blue. So for the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with this icy white shimmer shade out of the palette. And I'm just going to go in with this teeny tiny little pencil brush. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, that is really sparkly. Uh, I really like it into that lid shade that we did to that highlighter. Like, they pair beautifully together. Now I am going to go in with a little bit more, and again, I am applying this dry, it's not dampened. I'm also kind of like overlapping it with the purple underneath the eye as well. But I mean, just look at how blinding that is. Like, So on their website, this skinny mascara really intrigued me, and it's a mascara for the lower lashes. It's technically the AOA Studio Skinny Under Lash Mascara. And I mean, just look at how small this brush is. Like I have really stubby lashes. So I wonder how this is going to work. This is one of those mascaras you really have to build up. Like I'm on my third layer right now and you can see it looks really pretty, but you have to be willing to layer it. And if you like a lot of separation, like my lashes are really, really defined. Like there's absolutely no clumpiness with this one. And for highlighter, again, I'm just going to go in with the highlight that we used earlier and I'm just going to be taking it on a little eyeshadow brush, or I guess a bigger one. And let's see how it looks when applied dry. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, baby, that is a blinding highlight. Like, you don't even have to apply this one wet to get it blinding. I mean, just look at that. And to me, this is kind of like an icy pink. Like, it's like a true icy white with like a baby pink reflect in it. It's really, really pretty. It's definitely a colorful highlight, though. It's not like a, it's like if you mixed a super colorful one in with like a wearable one. Like if you've been wanting to try out colorful highlighters and you don't know where to start, I think this one's really nice. And if you like a really blinding highlight, you're going to love it. But for a blinding highlight, it's not like the glittery kind, it's like the wet sheen kind of vibe. So let's set this mug and to do so, I did pick up a setting spray. This is the A Plus setting spray and it says it locks in makeup, lightweight, matte finish, non-drying, and long lasting. And you get a lot of product in this one. But let's see how the mist is. Ooh, that's actually really nice. It's definitely not like a shower. And also, it's like instantly like going into my skin too. It's not like leaving like a film or anything. And scent-wise, it just has like this nice like light skincare kind of scent to it, if you know what I mean. It almost kind of reminds me of like cucumbers. <laughs> Like, it's very, very light. I'm going to do a second layer, too, just because I'm going somewhere after this. I want to make sure everything is all nice and locked in place. But this is what it looks like up close. And as you can see, there's no, like, droplets. It's not doing anything funky to my makeup. Nothing slipping or sliding. It's just a really nice setting spray. So here's how the finished look turned out. And there are two items that I didn't use on camera today. The first being this A Plus Gua Sha Jade Face Sculpting from AOA. And I have seen so many people on TikTok rave about this for like lymphatic drainage and like contouring and like sculpting the chin and the face that I don't know, I just really want to try it. It looks very interesting to me. And I mean, just look at how pretty this is. Like, oh, I love this color of green. 
but apparently you go like this and use like a face oil and I'm just really curious to try it out. And the other item that I didn't use today but I've tried before is the AOA Skin Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm and let me just say I'm surprised that more people don't talk about this because this little container is under $2 for a cleansing balm which is such a steal but this cleansing balm right here just let me tell you is magic. It gets rid of blue eyeshadow and glitter and also lash glue and it does remove like waterproof like eyeliner and mascara like it is so nice. And also it smells amazing and my favorite part about it though is that it doesn't put that weird film on your eyes when you're scrubbing at your eyes with it and it doesn't like make my eyes itchy or burnt either. Let's just talk about my favorites that we used today and first being the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. Like I cannot get over the coverage of this and also the color match. Like it is so nice and it's wearing really nice too. Like I cannot wait to use this more. Next being of course the lashes. Like girl you know I really like these lashes. They're my all time favorite. And also the sponge like you can't go wrong with their sponges but also like the highlighter like I need to try out more shades of this because I just love how it looks whether that is on the eyes or the face like I just love this like pretty wet sheen yet blinding vibe that it gives and also like you just get so much product with this. I also really like this satin lipstick like it feels really hydrating on the lips. I wish I wouldn't have applied it over the liquid lipstick though because I feel like it's just kind of heavy on the lips right now but again I can't wait to use the other shades and see how they look. And the other item that I really enjoyed was the setting spray. Like, I really like the mister of this, and also I feel like it really just, like, locked everything in. In the comments down below, though, let me know what you think about this look, and also let me know what your favorite items from Shop Miss A are. I would love to hear what you guys like, too, so I can snag them. But before you go, though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!